They call it the greatest spectacle in racing. Brave heroes throughout history have fought these mighty beasts. Some have won, many have lost. This is in the... Quit it with the speed stuff. The story's about a snail with an impossible dream. I wish I was fast. Oh no. What's happening to me? <laughs> yeah! I just kind of fell in love with that idea of the classic underdog story. I give you the next Indy 500 champion! Is that a snail? What kind of welcome is that? You see the passion that everybody on the Turbo Project has for making it the best possible racing film. There's no limits, anything is possible. You look on screen, you see Indy cars go, <laughs> and you see a snail, <laughs> and you know, right with them, it's kind of like, Okay. From a career standpoint, you're judged by your performance at Indy. Where did you find him? How did he do that? Kinley would describe turbo speed as a ball of lightning. I never met a snail that went over 200 miles an hour. It's really unbelievable what he can do. So in the snail world, it's got to be truly insane. Hey, you a robot? Are you radioactive, homie? Is it contagious? When you see one of these things in action live, your senses almost get readjusted by what they're capable of. Are you a car? No. Are you a car? No! Then stop driving like one! Let's do this. And the race is on! What kid doesn't dream of piloting a fast car around a racetrack at six billion miles per hour? Yeah, now we're talking. Everybody's got that one thing that makes them happy. And for me, it's terrifying, terrifying blazing speed. DreamWorks Turbo.